I think of how Jesus sat at the womb, at the well in Samaria and looked at this woman five times divorced and now sleeping with a man who's not even her husband in John chapter 4 and he talks to her you know what he talks to her about worship he should be talking to her about divorce he should be talking to her about adultery but he talks about worship in the spirit Oh, he had discernment. He didn't think the worst about that woman. He must have thought, she's messed up her life. Poor woman. She never heard the truth, living in Samaria where the Jews never went. Never got the opportunity to hear the truth. Poor woman, I have compassion on her. Why did she divorce five times? Maybe it's her fault, maybe she's stubborn, maybe she's evil, but maybe her husband's caused her problems. Why is she sleeping with somebody, man, now a man without getting married? We don't know. How would you look at a woman who you knew has divorced five times and is now sleeping with somebody? Ah, how quick! We are to pass judgment, but he would not judge by what his eyes saw or his ears heard. That's why sinners came to him and he saved them. And maybe brother, sister, that's why sinful people don't come to you. Maybe that's why you've never brought anybody to Christ in your life. Have you brought people to Christ in your life? Holy persons who don't bring anybody to Christ? You know, Jesus said, I did not come to call holy people. I came to call sinners to salvation. God has placed us as witnesses to bring others to him. And we will be able to bring people to him if we stop judging others a little more. Stop passing your opinions about every Tom, Dick and Harry you see and everyone you know and just mind your own business. Don't be a busybody in other people's matters. God can deal with them. You're, you're not appointed by God as a judge. Yeah, one last verse. James, James chapter 4. James chapter 4. Verse 11. If you fear God, Take these words seriously. Right now, take it seriously. Read them in your Bible. Do not speak against one another, brothers. Do not speak against one another. Because when you speak against a brother or judge your brother, you're speaking against the law of God and judging the law of God. But if you judge the law of God, you're not a doer of the law, you're a judge. There is only one lawgiver and judge. That's Almighty God. Have you heard that? There is only one judge who is able to save or to destroy. Who do you think you are to judge your neighbor? Who do you think you are to judge that person? Are you Almighty God? That's the question the Holy Spirit is asking you in that verse. Let us follow Jesus' example. Repent of all the years when we have passed opinions and been the accuser of brothers and sisters and find fault with them and speak evil about them behind the back and say, hey, did this, you know, this person is like this, this person is like this, this person is like this, this person is like this and spread evil of that, that person. And one day at the judgment seat of Christ when the person's entire life is revealed, say, oh Lord, I never even knew that person did so much good in secret. And here I was going around judging a saintly child of God who had one or two weaknesses. And now with the light of Christ's judgment seat, I see I had ten times more weaknesses than that person. If you don't want any regret at the judgment seat of Christ, I would say, don't judge, don't condemn, discern. If you feel that someone is not a good person to associate with, don't associate with that person, that's fine. There are many people I don't associate with. 